Good evening out there. Welcome to Chester, Chester Nut Ridge Park. <laughs> I knew I'd get it wrong. Hey, I'm Dan Hart. I'm the executive director of the BPO. We're so happy to be here. It's, it's TGIF with the BPO here. This is the first time we've been at the park ever, if not in a very, very long time. So we're glad to see you all out there and everybody up on the hill. We've got a great concert for you tonight. We're happy to really going to enjoy the concert. Before we get started, I just once once again want to thank First Niagara for sponsoring the concert and Time Warner. I would like to give a little credit to one of our musicians who has been urging us for a few years to get out here. That's Jeff Jones right over here. Jeff, stand up. One of the BPO's biggest supporters is Erie County, and uh, this has led to a meeting with the Parks Department who have just been fantastic to the BPO. We've been introduced to Jim Horning, who is really the man who made this all possible for you and for us, so I'm happy to introduce Jim Horning. Thank you, Dan. Again, as Dan said, we're glad to have you here at Chestnut Ridge Park. We uh, uh, To showcase this park with the BPO is just something that uh, I never thought of two and a half years ago, and I'm glad we had some support here with the BPO saying we want to be here. This is just great. I know the day was a little iffy, but I think I'll take this day over Wednesday when it was 95 degrees. So not that I'm picking one park after another, but I think we've got the better venue. So enjoy yourself tonight. Chris Collins couldn't be here, unfortunately. He, he, I'm again, glad to be here. He also is a supporter. He's the reason we're able to do some of this. He's giving our direction. Jim, this is what we want to do in the parks go get it and we're allowed to do that and I appreciate all the support they give us and you give us. So please continue to work with us and, and uh, enjoy your evening. Right now I want to introduce Ray from Miniac. Ray is the leader of the band, so to speak, for the newly formed Chestnut Ridge Conservancy. We talked to Ray We have our supporters up on top of the hill. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an avenue for us to collaborate with the Conservancy to do more things in this beautiful 1,200-acre park. So with that, great. Thank you, sir. Hi, everybody. I'm here to teach a chorus, actually. Uh, the verbiage for that particular tune is, it's a rich thing. Have you seen that on some of our signs? This is a rich thing. And we're really extremely grateful and just proud of the fact that the Philharmonic is here to more or less allow us to tie in with their presentation. Uh, just a few things about the Conservancy. I've been given a list of things which I'm sure I can't handle correctly, but item one, the Conservancy is here for one particular purpose, and that is to have, uh, working together with the County of Erie and to its parks department, Jim has been extremely cooperative in our endeavors. We want to help uh, restore and preserve what Orchard Park, uh, rather really Orchard Park, not Orchard Park, and, what Chestnut Ridge is really all about. This is a wonderful, wonderful venue, and we hope you'll be able to support it financially. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to present myself as a money grubber. I'm here to raise funds primarily for your park, Chestnut Ridge. Uh, we have a lot of endeavors, we have a lot of opportunities. I've been given a list of things to advise you of. Item one, the people in front of me are a bucket brigade. I don't know how many of you have seen the movie the bucket where you have a list of things and you want to accomplish before you kick the bucket? Well, ours is quite simple. We know that on a study made by the University of Buffalo a number of years back, there is an opportunity to expend at least three and a half million dollars to bring this park up to where it ought to be based on the study that was made. Now, I know that's changed a great deal because a lot of the items that were described in that particular program have been done and, pro and had items have been restored. However, other problems have come in the fore, of course. The thing that's essential to all of us, all of us is not only to restore and preserve what's here, but to be able to raise the level of what's happening here at the park. The opportunities for education, the opportunities for the arts, the opportunities for sports and the like could be enhanced and will be enhanced if folks like you help our conservancy bring it to the floor. So I just doing one last thing before the bucket brigade walks through you, asking you for some financial support. I have a reminder and one of our friends is just waving to me saying, 
remind them that we do have uh, items for sale at the tent, which will make this a beautiful thing for you to purchase. We have hats, we have shirts, we have all types of items that you could possibly take home and say, I was present at the first time the Gulf of Philharmonic appeared at Chester Witch Park. The last thing I would like to say is, Jim, we challenge you. We want to bring this orchestra to our park under the, with the, under the aegis of our conservancy, hopefully for a larger series in the coming year. This is a tremendous attribute of the Western New York area. Our orchestra is phenomenal. We want them here at Chester Witch. Thank you very much.